Hey, what's up, dude? It's Greg from Tech Entertainment. Uh, it's just pretty much like a catch-up video at this point. Um, we haven't posted anything for, what, about two months? So, yeah, pretty much just trying to catch up. So, all I've really been doing is trying to get better, um, because I hurt my back. And just doing some shooting, looking up stuff for my car and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I ended up getting, uh, a Springfield XD 9 mil, and then just been trying to shoot better with it. I'm gonna be using it as my conceal and carry, but, yeah, as you see, like, I got my winter tires here. This is my garage, by the way, so, <laughs> it's pretty packed up with shit. Uh, yeah, got the tires there, got my BCs right there, just waiting to be installed. Um... Yeah, I just had back surgery, like, a couple weeks ago, and I got a fusion done on my back. My L405 was fused? I don't know. From my understanding, they just took out the disc and put a hockey puck with four screws in there, so... Uh, yeah, dude, that's pretty much it. Just been shooting, trying to catch up, trying to get better, and... Yeah, cool. Hey! What's up, you guys? I, I literally just got off work, but it's my segment of the update video. Um, so, in the last two, two and a half months since uh, we've record, we've all recorded a video, uh, I have, I had my second baby. I had Lily Madison uh, on May 2nd, and that's been my time. Uh, fuck. Like, it's been, it, I, I've been a father for over a year and a half. This is my second one. Dog won't shut the fuck up. But, uh, garage is a mess, so is the house because of the parties. But, oh, wow, this is dark. You know, I've just been focusing more on the family and more about the homestead. We've been buying a lot of stuff. I've been doing a lot of. Jesus! I've been doing a lot of housework, doing a lot of construction. Just to uh, make it safer for two kids and a dog. Food's over here for some reason. But when I get back outside, I'll talk about the car. But for right now, I gotta do this. Oh, my dad texted me back. That's another thing I gotta talk about. That'll be a good little segment. Come here, boy. My dog likes to eat fast. So what we do is we, we take the food. And I'll take the fucking blinds with him, but... Just chuck it. So now he has to scavenge around the yard, or on the port patio. It's pretty simple. Alright, so... Yeah, family taking care of the homestead. Fuck, I gotta put this back in the home. Uh, yeah, just focusing on that. Getting another job. Getting a new job, I would actually say. Trying out different things. Applying to different places. Trying to get out there. Better hours, so I can spend more time in here. I can spend more time in there. I can spend more time with my kids. So, I've been working with my dad's business a little bit more. I've been doing a podcast with him called Beyond the Sites Podcast. I've already talked, I believe I've already talked about this, but I'm not 100% sure. But, TLT, TLT Defense in Elgin, Illinois is the business that my dad has that we do active shooter training scenario drills. Or training scenarios, not drills, sorry, not drills. Uh, it's way more Im immersive than any other training you could take for concealed carry, for active shooters, all that. So I'm becoming a concealed carry instructor soon. Uh, my concealed carry is in. I have I have all mine. I'm doing stop the bleeding. I'm doing all this training to work through my dad's business and handle classes. Still hasn't taken off. Still got a got a contract to go through with other businesses so we can do this in more public places. I'm like pointing up here, but I'm pointing down here. My my, my titties. So that's like that's that. It's it's more income for me. It's it's. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in gun safety. I believe in all of that. I want I want people to be feel more comfortable with gun safety, and teach them you know 
this is it's not just for gun safety it's, it's for everything it's for how to get out of a situation it's situational awareness <sighs> i'm rambling all right so the car the xp the main thing let me just click this really quick Beep. all right xp i have had two different lips i had the the the, or the, uh, the splitter, excuse the mess, it's just we're reorganizing a lot. Uh, but I had the splitter. This is the bottom half of it. This is the diffuser that I made. I'll throw up a couple pictures right here. And the diffuser looked good, but to my taste, it, it, I didn't like it. It was the first generation of it, I, first phase. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some stuff off of it take, and trim some stuff and yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna add it in. The bumper right now is back to the factory lip. Oh, you can't really see it. Let me get my phone out. The bumper is back to the factory lip, and I like it. It's just not low enough. Uh, oh, another thing. Another thing. <laughs> I wanted to make it drivable, so the driver's seat broke. The driver's seat broke, as you can see right there. That is the passenger seat in the driver's seat. So my driver's seat, I probably just should have went over this, but it's right there. The mechanism, like the wood inside of it broke, and I could not use that seat. I'm off frame again. God damn it. I could not use that seat. It, it leaned all the way back into the harness bar. The harness bar was the only thing stopping me. It is hot in this garage. So I needed a seat. I didn't want to take down a stock seat. I didn't want to sit in a stock seat with harnesses. I took up the seat belts. Well, the seat belts are tucked down, but I took off the seat belts for the harness bar. I'm just not running a passenger seat so I can just drive it. Uh, I, I am rubbing on the passenger rear, or driver rear, sorry. I am rubbing a little bit. Uh, if I had a bad bump, I'm rubbing a little bit on this side as well. I gotta, I gotta, edit, or I gotta change some of those. But my next plan, Hopefully this next like week I can get the hood, door handles, and the rear bumper off so I can respray them. What are we doing? Get back. And uh, that'll make for like a little short video. I'm gonna try and get uh, the head mount from uh, from Greg. Get in the backyard. All right, I gotta take care of this little fucker. That's my update video. I had a kid. I've been working more with my dad and doing the podcast Beyond the Size podcast. You can get it on iTunes, Google Play. Castbox, Stitcher, Spotify, all those. Just listen. Second Amendment. We speak. Greg was on it too. Greg was on it. All right. Well, I'm Tim from TLT. I got the XB. I am LT. What's up, guys? Tim here from Tech Entertainment. You guys been noticing that lately we've been kind of lacking content just because of personal reasons and all of our lives going on right now. One of our guys just had a kid. Another guy just kind of had massive surgery done. So hopefully those two guys are more elaborate and during the third update video. For me, this is my update video, so that really, you know, there's not a lot of stuff going on. For me at least, I've been trying to get my, my streaming more online, doing a lot more streaming as you can see by this massive mic in front of my face and the Twitch overlays right here. I've been trying to do more of that. So hopefully Tim or Greg, depending on who actually does this video, will nicely put my Twitch tag right here, which is twitch.tv forward slash TS Carcass. Really, I'm a variety streamer. I'll stream just about anything to have fun. Lately, it's been Battlefield 4, Golf It, Scribble.io, Rocket League, maybe even Hand Simulator if Tim actually convinces me to try it. <laughs> Might actually be kind of fun. But, I mean, lately I just kind of been, I've been upgrading my PC. I went from an i7 7700K uh, to a Ryzen 2700X. Huge, massive upgrade. I think it's awesome. Currently, it's only air cooled. Eventually, I wanted to get an AIO for it just to kind of make it look nice because who doesn't like AIOs? I just went to a 20, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and just trying to have more fun. I like building my computer, it's an expensive hobby, as we all know. So, you know, just with that stuff going on, I've been trying to do a lot more of that. So, I guess you would say my car. Not much has changed since our last couple of videos. I recently just did the uh, third brake light from Subi Speed, which I would not recommend one bit. I think it's a hunk of shit. It doesn't like, it doesn't flash as it's supposed to. I'm pretty sure it has a white, um, a short somewhere in the wires, so or just kind of doesn't like to work. It sometimes works. 
I recently just got tents done on my car to make it less fish bully. Um, besides that, you know, I had my TN lowering springs and my nameless axe back exhaust. The stuff I want to get for my car coming up hopefully soon is I definitely want to get a duck bill for it because duck bill is a badass. Hopefully a front lip and a rear diffuser to make this kind of more better looking on the car. I definitely want to get BC coilover soon because BC coilovers are awesome. I eventually like to get new rims and tires to my car just because it, 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 it makes my car look a lot better. And of course, the, the NVIDIA R400 cat bag exhaust just because it crackles, it pops, it, it's awesome. Things are nice. So for my car, I got about roughly a year, maybe a little under a year left of my actual warranty. As soon as my warranty expires, and I'll eventually start getting more performance parts, which is going to be the Cobb Stage 1, which is a Cobb access port, and the RAM intake, which would be an awesome, because that would be another video for us to throw up, or just on us doing that. Um, definitely more parts down the road, I just can't think on top of my head. I've been also hopefully going to try to get my motorcycle back up and running this year. It's been down for about two years. Um, it needs a new key done because my key was recently broken. So it's going to hopefully, we're going to take out the cylinder and completely replace the cylinder so I can have a brand new key for it. It needs brake, it needs oil change, and it needs spark plugs definitely. It's been, hasn't been ran in a little while. It, um, what's holding me back is I need to get a chain and sprocket for it. So after that gets done, then I can be back on twos and be having fun on back on my bike. So I mean, not really much more has been going on with me. I don't live a very exciting life. You know, of course, you know, gotta have the vape. So, well guys, I'm out of here. This is Tim from Tech Entertainment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later!